Hey, Freddie. Hope you're doing doing well. This is Coach Blake here. I'm happy that I uh, can get to jump in here and coach you remotely and kind of continue to help you grow as a ball player. And uh, I'm going to be talking to you about something very specific today. And um, I, I, I would hope that you get to hear this, you know, this weekend and then go back out next week and kind of put this into practice. So one of the your best qualities, Freddie, is, is always going to be your size. And I want to help you utilize that size as much as I can, okay? So what I've done here is I have put uh, one of our other players, his name is Max Bohms, he's on the 11U team, and there's something in particular about his swing that I like, and I, I want to kind of draw your attention to this. So I have fast-forwarded the video of both of you guys. So, so it, at Max's heel strike, when his heel lands, I want you to notice what he does. He keeps his hands very high. You can see the tension up in his shoulders, all right? And what's going to happen is, is as he releases those hands, he's created like a rubber band effect up here where he's going to be able to have his hands come in behind those legs and almost snap through the zone, all right? Now, I've got you at heel strike in your picture, and I want you to notice some of the differences here. So where Max has that shoulder in the back higher than the front, you collapsed your backside, all right? And so as, we, as, as you've already begun your swing too early, you, you, and you haven't created much tension here and here, you're not getting that rubber band effect, Max has done, done, done that more correctly. And what we'll see here with Max, as he goes forward, the knob of the bat is going to lead his swing and his elbows stay behind. Because you've collapsed down and you see your elbows are already starting to pull the bat. All right, and, and it's gonna create a drag effect. Okay, when we really want that opposite, we want that bat to remain high and then as the front foot lands, you snap that bat as that rubber band snaps after it tightens directly through the zone, all right? Creating, see if we go back, your, your bat's in the good position here. Okay, we want it to come straight through like that. Instead of what happens is it comes in pieces. So you drop and kind of swoop. All right, and I know it's subtle, but I, but you know when you're looking at this swing frame by frame, you can really see the difference here in these two swings. So, Freddie, you're you're a really big kid. If we can get that weight, if we can get that weight back as it kind of holds back and then release it forward, even comparing you to an other to another older kid, it'll be it'll be no contest because your weight, if used correctly, is going to land into that that ball. <laughs> with a lot more force than, well, anyone that I've seen that's your age just because of your pure size and power. So so I'm looking forward to continue to work work with you and for you to continue to take these videos and kind of refine this swing. All right, so hope you enjoy what you got to learn, and I hope you're able to take that back into practice. Talk to you soon.